Welcome to One Big Table. Let me take a minute here to show you around. This is an online festival that will be happening all weekend long, and it's a fundraiser for an organization that I work with called Seek Healing. If you haven't heard of Seek Healing before, we are a nonprofit that's based in Western North Carolina, and you can think of us as what's called a social health organization, serving a really specific part of the overall mental health services industry. We exist to help people experience meaningful human connection, learn about healthy relationships, how to have them, how to listen to each other, um, and how to show up for each other in the kind of community connections that really promote healing um, from addiction and from other mental health challenges. We provide all of our services for free all year long to populations of people who are at risk for overdose, people who experience really big trauma, um, and the community at large, which we can't address the individuals in a community who are suffering with addiction or mental health challenges unless we start to understand how all of us uh, suffer in these ways when we're not relating to each other authentically, when we're not getting real um, and showing up to have real conversations. So uh, we put on this fundraiser every year, first of all, to encourage those kinds of meaningful conversations between all of y'all who are gonna be here at the conference um, and also to raise resources um, both money and human energy around being able to continue to provide our services for free to the community here in Asheville and increasingly uh, through the circumstances of this year online across the nation. So we really appreciate your support. Thank you for being here. Um, whether you paid for a ticket or not, uh, your energy and presence here is really crucial to building a world that's more connected and to starting to shift our paradigms around addiction, around mental health, and around what's what really matters when we come together in relationship and how coming together in relationship actually helps all of us heal and build a more connected world. So um, I hope that at some point through this weekend, if you do feel moved to donate to this cause, that you'll consider uh, making a donation. That button's at the top there. And like I said, all your donations go directly to funding Seek Healing programs and services, uh, which are provided 100% for free to everyone in the program, including people who are at risk for experiencing a drug overdose or another kind of death of despair. I also just want to encourage or invite those of you who uh, are able to, to consider making your donation a recurring monthly donation. Um, it's that kind of support that really allows us to continue our programming in a sustainable way month after month, um, year after year. So thank you in advance for your support in that way if it's something that you're able to do. Um, and otherwise, uh, let's also just orient you around the rest of this page here. So there's content streaming all day, every day, um, from starting at 4.30 p.m. on Friday through Sunday evening. And all of the time slots that are listed here in this schedule are on Eastern Standard Time. Um, so do keep that in mind that the page doesn't update to show your time zone if you're not on Eastern Standard Time, unfortunately. Um, so you will be able to immediately log into whatever session is live by using that button at the top to join the current session. Um, and all of the presentations are recorded and will be available after the weekend uh, if that's something that you want to check out later um, as a part of being involved during the weekend. We want to make that content available to you with the important exception of any interactive sessions. Uh, none of the interactive sessions will be recorded, but all of the seminars and talks um, from our amazing lineup of speakers and facilitators and teachers who are coming together this weekend uh, will be available to you after the fact. For the interactive sessions, I just want to take this moment to make a couple important um, guidelines and parameters that we're all committing to uphold when we are interacting with each other in these virtual spaces. The first is a commitment from everyone to keep everything that you hear in these sessions confidential, whether you're paired up in a breakout room with one other human or a couple other humans, uh, or you're sharing in a group setting in the larger room, please remember to keep anything and everything you hear confidential, uh, which doesn't mean that you can't talk about or process what a big you know, transformative experience you might have had in one of those sessions um, after the fact, just don't do it in conjunction with anyone's name or any other identifying features. And secondly, I'll also ask everyone to please commit to the practice of not giving advice when you're in interactive spaces with people this weekend. Now, this means um, 
noticing when that desire to fix or change the person I'm talking to comes up and acknowledging it if I need to, uh, but refraining from actually jumping into giving advice. This is kind of one of the easiest little tips and tricks or hacks uh, that we like to use at Seek Healing for avoiding inauthentic connection, for avoiding connection that feels superficial or transactional. It's a really countercultural move to show up for a conversation in a way that's not oriented towards fixing, um, and it can also be incredibly healing. So as much as possible, please refrain from giving advice or trying to fix. And if you do feel like you really want to give advice, just ask for consent first. Hey, would you like to hear what I think about that? Or would you like some advice about that? Which gives the person a chance to say yes or no. If you have an experience, um, an emotional experience come up that's really big and hard for you to process, maybe there's a lot of tears, or maybe there's some anger, maybe um, something from your past is coming up in a big way that you're kind of uh, struggling to hold all by yourself, please know that you're not alone. Even though you're behind a computer screen and these connections feel far away, uh, we want to be here for you all weekend. So at any point during the weekend, you can either call or text Seek Healing's listening line at 828-547-0222. That's 828-547-0222. And we have a beautiful army of space owls um, who are volunteers that are uh, standing by to hold space as needed, to talk to you, to just get on the phone and process whatever you're going through in a non-judgmental way without trying to uh, fix or change whatever's going on, but just be with you in it. So you can feel free, again, to call or text the listening line if you want some one-on-one -on -one support. Uh, I also really encourage you to consider opening up and reaching out to some of the other people who are in the sessions with you. Um, if you start to see people over and over again in our little Zoom boxes, or you see people's usernames popping up in the chat that you feel drawn to connect with, shoot them a private message. Say, hey, what's up? Um, we will also be having our Connection Cafe open at various times throughout the weekend. And what that looks like, it's just an open Zoom room where you can coordinate with someone that you're seeing in different sessions to go connect and meet up one-on-one, -on -one. Um, or in the group of other people who might be in the Connection Cafe, it's just an open space to connect. There will be a uh, Space Owl volunteer in those Connection Cafes to put you into a breakout room if you wanna uh, just go be one-on-one -on -one with someone you just met during the festival, uh, or like I said, you can just stay in the main room and participate in uh, whatever kind of organic group conversation is happening in there. Uh, we're really doing uh, as much as we can to make this feel like an in-person gathering, even though that's not something that's possible uh, for us this year. So please take full advantage of um, the different ways that we've created and curated for you to connect with others during this weekend. Okay, uh, so also very important is that um, I wanna encourage everybody to check out our local love auction, which will be going on all weekend. There's a button for that at the top of this event page as well. Um, it will end at 10 p.m. on Sunday, December 6th, uh, but it is open for bidding throughout the weekend. And you can, it's pretty clear if you click on the uh, auction link, on the auction button, uh, once you get to the auction site, you can click the catalog page and see all of the amazing um, packages and pieces of art and uh, different local offerings from our partners here in Asheville, North Carolina that are available for shipping nationwide. An important part of this event if you um, are interested in checking those out and uh, supporting us in that way. All right. And last but far from least, please... Um, remember to uh, enjoy yourself. <laughs> uh, that's really what this is here for at the end of the day. Um, I hope to see all of you out there on Friday night for the dance party. Um, dancing on Zoom is something I wasn't sure I'd ever be able to get into, but it's a lot more fun than you think. Um, we'll be sharing dinner together on Saturday evening before Dr. Mate's talk. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting to know each and every one of you, um, whether it's just in passing or, you know, getting to know your username or, you know, through whatever conversations and connections we might have with each other throughout the weekend. Um, I really want to invite everybody to unmute yourself if you have a question, uh, to engage in whatever's going on. If you feel like you want to applaud, unmute yourself and clap your hands. Um, we are here to hear each other and to be with each other. And uh, our speakers and facilitators are looking forward to engaging with you in that way as well. 
So thank you so much. Thanks for taking the time to listen to this. Um, remember to set up your recurring donation with the donate button um, to take care of yourself, to get curious about the people around you, to bid on some stuff in the local love auction, check out the Connection Cafe, and have an awesome time. Thanks for gathering around one big virtual table with me this weekend. I'll see you soon.